Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be basically a summer empties. My last empties video I think went up like mid-June-ish. However, that video had been filmed and like went up so late it like got lost in like the shuffle of all the media on my iMovie. Um, so pretty much my entire full huge bin today is pretty much everything I've, I've accumulated over the course of the summer summer months um with a little bit of summer left so if you guys are interested in seeing what is currently in my empties bin hearing some mini reviews on some of the products that i've been able to use up what would i rebuy what would i stay far away from stay tuned first if you haven't already subscribed to my channel i hope you consider subscribing before you leave today i do post a minimum of four times a week so if that's something that interests you then don't forget to subscribe before moving on don't forget to hit the thumbs up button it really does help support my channel other than that let's just jump into the video all right so right on top i see actually quite a bit of hair care i feel like i like finish up like a bulk of hair care like all right at once um so starting with this this hair mask this is from Ling I don't know how, how this is actually pronounced but this was the rehab hydrating mask and I actually did really enjoy this I'm not quite sure where you can pick this up I got this as a Christmas gift actually but this did a really nice job hydrating my hair I think I still prefer the deep conditioning masks from Biolage, their Hydrosource, I really like, as well as the Don't Despair Repair deep conditioning mask from Briogeo. I'm currently going through the avocado one and I really, really, really like that one. So I don't necessarily know that I would purchase this again. However, this was really nice. I'm not even sure the price on this or again where you even could pick this up. But if it was a decent price, I thought that this did a really nice job of hydrating my hair. I do have pretty dry and very thick hair, if that gives you a little bit of context. Uh, so my hair needs a lot of hydration. I also finished off the Sol de Janeiro Brazilian. I know I'm like the worst at pronouncing anything. I'm like the most white girl ever. Um, I finished off their uh, strengthening and smoothing conditioner. I had already previously finished off their shampoo. I like their shampoo. Their conditioner I just thought was meh. It didn't do enough to condition my hair. I actually typically use a shampoo and then go in with a deep conditioning mask rather than just using a straight conditioner just because my hair is so dry. Still recovering from like a four year ago bleaching fiasco. I've always thought I was my I could be my own hairdresser and I would never ever recommend to anyone bleaching your hair 10 times in a span of six months or six weeks. Uh, but I did finish this off so this is done. Uh, I finished off the Honey Bear Briogeo Don't Despair Repair Honey Moisture Deep Conditioning Mask. My sister got this for me for Christmas. I don't know if the Honey Bear is still available. I know it was limited edition. I don't know if it's permanent or if it truly was limited edition and now you can't get it. But I really liked this one. I liked the scent of this. I thought that this was really nice and I would consider repurchasing this if it's still a bit available. I know Briogeo is more expensive. However, I do not mind paying a little bit more for my hair care because I find that if I go with like I used to really use a lot of like Tresemme and things like that and I've just found over time that my hair just feels a lot healthier when I invest a little bit more in my hair care which I am personally fine with obviously that's going to depend on you and your financial situation and what you want to put your money into but for me I don't mind spending a little extra money on my hair care and this is something that I would consider repurchasing. And then I also finished this off from IGK. It was their Beach Club Volumizing Texture Spray. I liked this. I did really enjoy the scent of this. I think that's what I liked the most about this. I do have other texture sprays that I think work better, but I really liked the scent of this. And I feel like if I was going on vacation, I would potentially pick this up in this size. This is the like deluxe size, the travel size. Um, this was $14. I feel like I would pick it up for vacation because it just had this like vacation-esque sort of scent to it that I really enjoyed and it, it was fine for a texture spray but I just have others that work a little bit better um, I have one from I think it's called Wow I forget like the, I think the brand is Wow 
does amazing things for volume and texture and then I also really like the living proof one as well but for scent this would be my favorite in terms of scent uh, as far as actual like doing what the product says it's gonna do it didn't I have really thick hair like I said so it's a lot to give this hair some like volume that's gonna like stay um, but I enjoy the scent of this I should just stop talking because we're already like six minutes into filming <laughs> Okay, you guys, this face mask was terrible. This is from Grace and Stella. It says it's like an energy drink for your face. It was one of the um, like gel face masks, which normally I prefer, but this one was so thick, it literally didn't stick on my face. I like to use a face mask like this, um, like a sheet mask, while I'm, oh boy, it's dripping on me. I like to use these while I'm doing like household chores, um, like potentially like doing laundry, vacuuming, etc. You would have to literally be laying down like this, not moving your face for this to stay on. So would not recommend these. I got them in a boxy charm. I have like five others left that I'm just going to give away because it's just sheet masks in general. I'm kind of getting away from. They're just not my jam anymore. They used to be, but just not anymore. And this just did not work for me and my sheet masking preferences. Uh, I do have a little bit more hair care. I used up a sample pack of the Verb Mild and the Hydrating Shampoo and Conditioner. I liked this. I thought that it was fine. Obviously with the sample pack, for me, sample packs are about two uses if I'm lucky because I do have so much hair, long, thick hair, like I keep saying. Um, I, this was nice. I, I I don't know if I would, I don't know how much a full size of this would cost, and I'm just so like brand loyal to the Biolage Hydra Source. Unless I'm testing out other things, um, I don't know if I would actually purchase this in a full size. But if I thought it was I thought it was nice. I'm not gonna ramble on. I'm really bad about just rambling and rambling and rambling. Uh, from Bath and Body Works, I finished up their Aromatherapy Moisturizing Body Wash. This is the lavender and cedarwood scent. I love this scent. I thought that this was super nice. It's the sleep one. I am a nighttime shower, nighttime bather. So I, I love anything with lavender in general, but especially in the evening time. So I really did enjoy using this. Um, I would say I only purchased this when it's like 50% off, which I know doesn't happen all that often. Uh, but I feel like unless you get it on sale, it is overpriced. But if you can get it 50% off, I do recommend. A tanning product I finished off. I finished off the, off the Isle of Paradise Dark Self Tanning Water. I really enjoy this. I explained this in a, some previous video. I don't know which one. But I really enjoyed it, like spraying this all over my body, pretty much letting it dry down, and then immediately going on with the ColourPop or like the Soul Body uh, dark tanning lotion and I just loved the finish that that gave to the skin. I loved the tan that I got from that. Right now I am tan or tanning. I am testing out the Tan Lux Water, which is the sister company of this brand. It is about double the price for the Tan Lux Water. I think it's Tan Lux. The tanning water. Uh, it's about double the price. So if you are looking for a cheaper alternative, this works just about the same um, but I just had to know the difference that's why I'm testing the other one out I personally would probably just go for this one I am super super fair but I like a very deep tan which is why I go with dark I do think that they have three levels either two or three levels of tan um, I the dark I think is fine I don't feel like it pulls too orange on me or anything and I think this is really nice it retails for $28 it probably lasts me between 12 and 15 uses for like my whole body. So I definitely recommend this one from Isle of Paradise. Another Bath and Body Works product I finished up. I finished up one of their one in a million shower gels. I have so many of these shower gels. Every time I go home, I just take some. My mom has a huge stash just from like the free gifts you get or whatever at Bath and Body Works. So I have so many of these. I personally prefer other shower gels to Bath and Body Works, but obviously, if I can get free shower gel, I'm going to because I just don't care all that much. Um, and this scent was nice. I, I, again, I personally prefer other shower gels, but I have a lot of these that I can get through and I'm not going to waste shower gel. So 
there you have it. More hair care, you guys. Holy Jesus. Um, okay, so I went through the birthday gift from Sephora. This is from Briogeo. I have their Scalp Revi Revival Charcoal and Coconut Oil Micro Exfoliating Shampoo. I really want to purchase this in a full size. And this is something I would use like once a week just to really like not scrape at the scalp sounds really bad, but to really like get in there and just like exfoliate the scalp um, just because obviously we get product buildup, etc., things like that. And then there was just a little mini of the deep conditioning mask the don't despair repair which i've gone through so many of these sample size full size i think it's a really nice mask as i did say um i would repurchase this but again i'm using the like avocado and kiwi i think it is right now and i'm really enjoying that one especially for like more summery scent but the charcoal hair shampoo i really am interested i think they also have a conditioner i'd be interested in picking up both Okay, I think I grabbed the rest of the hair care products out that I have. I have this little Way Wave hairspray. I have so many little samples of these. I really enjoy using this when I am doing, like, if I do two French braids, when my hair is still damp, I will put in the, what is it? It's from IGK. It's like the coconut gel. I forget what they call it. But I'll put that in my hair, and then I'll go in with some of this wave spray so that I can do, like, heatless curls with my braids. And I think it works really, really well. This has a really nice summery scent to it. I have so many little guys of these that I've gotten just as free whatevers through so many different things. Uh, I don't know that I would put pay full price for this. I'm sure it's pretty pricey being that it's way hair care, and I don't feel like it makes that much of a difference i feel like i could just go in with a texture spray or a less expensive spray i wouldn't pay full price for this from verb i also have their c texture cream i would kind of use this the same way in that if i was doing french braids with damp hair i would put this through my hair and i would um, use this to help give me a little texture or even when i took my braids out i would kind of run this through my hair just to help hold some of that texture and I really like this. I really like the scent of this. This is something, even if it's super pricey, I would consider possibly purchasing in a full size because I really like the scent of it. And I did feel like it made it a nice difference when I took my braids out and just kind of zhuzhed it through my hair. I did enjoy kind of the effect I got from that. So this is something I would consider purchasing in a full size. And then the last hair care product I have is this one from Moroccan Oil. It's the Moroccan Oil Treatment Oil. I have a full size of this. I have another deluxe size of this. This is my favorite hair oil treatment. I think it makes a huge difference in the texture of my hair. It just makes it feel softer. It actually helps my hair dry quicker as well. And I just love the effect that this gives my skin. I've also used the Way Hair Oil, which I think is really nice as well. But this is by far my favorite and one that I will continue to repurchase. I have a Real Technique sponge that is just old and needs to be retired, so bon voyage. Okay, you guys know if you're not new to my channel, I love the Tula Dual Phase Skin Reviving Treatment Pads. I'll link these below because these are like a favorite, and I'll also link the Isle of Paradise self tanning water because those are like two things I would definitely recommend from this video. I went through one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve of these. These I like to use minimum once a week. I ideally I love using these twice a week. And I get that this is kind of a wasteful product but I just love them so much so it's a, a treatment pad um, and essentially at one side it has the serum on it that you rub on your face and then you flip it over to the other side and it exfoliates your face and your face just feels so freaking soft after using this these are very expensive they're $60 for 16 pads I did the math if I use these I can't remember how much it was like three or four hundred dollars if I use them twice a week that could be way off one day I did do the math though to figure out how much I would spend just on these alone if I bought them to use them twice a week and it was a lot it was a lot but I feel like it's worth it this just makes such a difference in the texture of my skin and then just the overall like skin tone brightness I just feel like my uh skincare lays better my foundation or well yeah my foundation my makeup lays better when my skin is just so smooth after using these so 
I absolutely love these. Highly recommend these from Tula. I've had a lot of hits and miss from Tula Skincare, but these are by far my standout product from the line. I have a couple of little fragrance samples that I went through. So from Replica, I finished the little travel size of the Lazy Sunday Morning. I really enjoy this, and normally my husband like does not comment on scents at all, but he, anytime I wear this, was like, ooh, like what are you wearing? You're wearing perfume. I really like that scent. So I really enjoy this one. I think it's a really nice light scent. Just a really nice light scent. Something that I would consider picking up again. I typically prefer like a deeper, more like musky, sensual scent. But because my husband likes this, I would consider buying it in a full size. Um, and then I also just have these two little samples. One is the YSL Mon Paris. Uh, sample I don't know this one to something for me just not my jam and then from is it Moschino I have the fresh couture this do I have any sprays left I can't even remember what this smells like I think it was nice maybe fresh since it says fresh um, but I can't really say I clearly it didn't stick out enough that I like immediately wanted to go buy it so there's that. For cleansers, I have some little mini cleansers here. So I did get to try out the Ula Henriksen Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. I thought that this was nice, but it wasn't enough for me to want to replace my staple cleansers. You guys know I love the Tatcha Deep Cleanse, which I have a little mini sample of. Tatcha Deep Cleanse is a favorite. Youth to the People Kale Spinach Cleanser is a favorite. The Milk Vegan Cleanser is a favorite. I feel like I'm missing one or are those my three staples those must just be my those are my three staples yes um it, it was nice it had a really nice scent to it I, I did enjoy this if I were to purchase this it would probably be a morning time cleanser for me though and I just my my Tatcha deep cleanse and my kale youth to the people cleanser are like my staple morning cleansers and it wasn't enough to override those so I won't be purchasing that in a full size. I also used up a little mini Belief Aqua Bomb Jelly Cleanser. This is really nice. I would... Ugh, still not enough to replace my two favorite morning cleansers. So nope, won't be purchasing that in a full size. And then also I finished off this little mini Glow Recipe Blueberry Bounce Gentle Cleanser. Not a favorite. I reviewed this in my Glow Recipe brand review. I can link that for you guys. Um, but this is not a favorite for me. From 4th Ray, I finished off two of their products. I went through their Waterfall Gentle Tonic. This was nice. And I think if you're looking for a affordable um hydrating toner this would be a nice option i believe it's like 14 or 16 dollars i prefer the laneige one. Oh, that one's so nice and i also am using the belief one which is also really really nice and i just comparing it to the comparing this to those two i just prefer those two a little bit more so i personally would purchase those two but if you don't want to spend 28 to 30 dollars on a hydrating tonic or a hydrating toner i totally get it and i think that this one is nice as well i'd be interested to compare the price versus the size though because this is 4.15 ounces and i don't know the size of the other two um but this was nice, just not a repurchase for me. And then I also finished off their Radiate Vitamin C Serum, which I thought was okay. Um, I didn't love the way that I applied this. And I also like knocked this over all the time. I don't know. I just have other vitamin C's that I prefer. I prefer the Tarte Youth or Dare Vitamin C. What other one did I just finish up? Um, oh, the Summer Fridays one. We'll get to that. Um, but there are other vitamin C's I prefer over this. I know, again, this is a less expensive alternative. So if you are not wanting to spend a fortune on vitamin C, I believe this is $16. Not a favorite of mine though. And then speaking of vitamin C's, I have this one from Summer Fridays. I really enjoyed this one. This is their CC Me Serum. This is very expensive coming in at $64. This is one that I definitely will consider repurchasing in the future. I typically like to rotate through my vitamin C's and not use the same one back to back which may be backwards, but I just don't want my skin to get too used to a vitamin C and I don't know if that's just a me thing or if that's like actually like a science thing. 
probably more just a me thing like it's probably better just to keep your skincare the same but i also like to just test products um so eventually i will come back to this one 64 dollars i know is expensive but i did notice a huge difference when using this at first i did not love this one because i was overusing it i would use like two pumps all over my face and i noticed that it would cause other products in my skincare routine or when i went in with my makeup it would cause products to pill up on my skin but when i started using just like a half a pump of this all over my face i obviously went through it slower which was nice because it is such an expensive vitamin c serum but i also noticed that i wasn't getting that pilling effect so keep that in mind if you are trying this or are thinking about this but i do think that this is a really nice vitamin c option from summer fridays i also finished off a little mini boom boom cream i love this i have this in a full size i've gone through many of these not going to drone on about this from avant avant i got this in a boxy charm this was their hyaluronic vitamin c lectin lectin jojoba oil supreme hyaluronic acid antioxidant dual moisturizer i want to say this supposedly retails for like a hundred and seven dollars absolutely not worth it this was like not special at all highly recommend pretty much any other moisturizer over this sorry if you like that one this little Saturday Skin Bright Pro Potion Probiotic Serum, I finished off. I have this in a full size. I love this serum. I think it is totally worth it. It makes such a difference in the like just texture and brightness of my skin. I feel like my skin looks less dull when I use this and I just really enjoy this one. Cannot recommend this one enough. I will try and link this one down below if I remember as well um, just because I think this one is worth it. I think it's $51 for the full size but that's another one where I just go in with like half a pump every single night and I it, I'm not going through it super super fast. So I definitely recommend this one from Saturday Skin. Ah oh, the struggles of being a mother we have a helper joining us for the end i just have five products left to share with you guys from the ordinary i finished off their hyaluronic acid two percent plus b5 <laughs> sorry guys zoe please my second bottle of this that i've gone through i definitely would purchase this again i'm trying to finish off my hyaluronic acid from good molecules but i definitely prefer this one from the ordinary so if you're looking for a an affordable option for a hyaluronic acid i definitely recommend this one from the ordinary i don't even know if i'm making sense anymore because it's always so distracting um i also finished this brush cleaner from sephora right now i'm using an ulta one i think the sephora one's a little bit better um but both work just fine i want to say this is like eight dollars but at the time that i ran out of this my sephora was not open yet and my ulta was so that's why i went with the ulta um, from the Mad Hippie, I finished off their cleansing oil. I actually really enjoyed this. I thought for such a little bottle, I was going to fly through this, but this took me a while to get through. I found with cleansing oils, usually I can do, or like double cleanse products, usually I can do things about, I have found with cleansing oil type of products, usually I can, <laughs> Zoe. I should it. <laughs> Uh, five minutes later i have found with cleansing oils and cleansing oil type of products i'm sorry you guys usually i can use things about twice before i get bored of it so i think eventually i will circle back to this but then we'll see do i get bored after the second bottle and never use it again we shall find out I finally finished these off you guys i've had these in my collection for so long and finally finished them off these are the patchology flash patch rejuvenating eye gels and honestly i would not purchase these again eye gels i really like the milk makeup ones and aside from that those are like the best ones i've tried and i just don't feel like the rest are worth it i would just go with like an eye cream and then to finish it off i finish off this little mini whoops virgin marula oil from drunk elephant don't recommend that in the full size because it is so expensive and i feel like you can get other marula oils for far cheaper we're gonna wrap it up there folks because zoe is so distracting i do apologize thank you so much for sticking around to watch today's video and for supporting my channel leave me a comment down below let me know what products you have finished up this summer i would love to hear from you other than that thanks so much for watching and i'll catch you in my next video bye, bye.